So for day number 10, the word is fortune. And when I think of fortune, I think of fortunate. Um, I think being fortunate enough to be able to read a book or to see and hear well is really something that you take for granted until you lose it. Um, I developed vertigo when I was 15 and so basically I really had to learn how to live with it because there's really nothing they can do. You can take medication. I've tried medication but it makes me not myself. I mean, the only thing it really does with medication is it makes you just want to sleep. So, of course, you're very comfortable with your vertigo because you're just sleeping. And also, tinnitus. So, as you can see, I depicted it because um, when I read, basically, I, c I can start off doing pretty well and so I can read a bit, but then things start getting fuzzy or the words start shaking. And it's really stressful because this is probably what it looks like or sometimes um, I see a lot of colors with my words and it's not just um, like normal colors, it's really bright, neon, very um, disorienting <laughs> colors. Um, I see that anyway, but it's not very helpful when they're shaking. Even like now, I think more so <laughs> what I enjoy is reading art books because I can enjoy the art while looking at it. And I probably prefer like impressionism or abstract art or pointillism because um, I can see it very well because even though everything's moving or things might be swirling around, I feel like the art makes sense and a lot of the art I do make is very abstract or impressionistic. I honestly feel like it's a blessing and a curse because I think it does make me enjoy art more. I can see so much within art that I don't think you could see if you didn't have vertigo. Um, sometimes I'm seeing like whole narratives or different stories or different ways about the art which I don't think you could if you didn't experience vertigo for so long but that is my sense of fortune so that was day number 10 and I will see you tomorrow for day number 11 thanks for watching